What is up guys, my name is Lopsa and welcome back to Sly Cooper, no way, Sly Two Pants of Thief. This time we'll do in satellite sabotage. Sly, I need you to hack into Dimitri's communication array so that we'll have access to his database. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. Thanks, game. For a sneaky tutorial that I don't need. Alright, I've done that, we have to go there, but I might as well go and steal this bronze comp. Whoop, that got hurt of me. Next satellite dish, reprogram. I know, thanks for the tutorial that I don't need. Why you can hold down the R1 button while walking to break into a fast run, but be careful, as this is sure to be loud enough to alert any guards in the vicinity. Yeah, we got the squares. Yep, that's our next objective. So I might as well go do that straight away. Well, only thing I can do right now is pretty much go from mission to mission. And probably break some of this stuff for coins. Unfortunately, I didn't get any. God damn you. And by going into this area or to this mission, we have now unlocked this area for future exploring. Good to see you, little buddy. I guess the way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back. Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. All right, pal. Let's get to it. Let's. Fear the oh, by the way, if you're too close for an opponent when you knock it down, you will take some dam minor damage. So you just can't be spamming this right next to them until they get up. So you actually have to back off a bit. Hold on, Sly. Let me lower those bars for you. There you go. To get over this thing, you'll have to double jump. Hit the X button to jump. Then, while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. <laughs> Looks like you're on your own from here. Eh, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. Thanks, Murray. You're awesome. I'm looking for some coins, though. Well, later you get some uh, one way of getting coins. So, 
So yeah. That will come up later though. Oh no, it's a guard. I guess I have to sneak under this table. Oh, nothing to steal? Fine. I think that guy might hear if I do say this. Oh, he didn't. Works for me. And yeah, goodbye. I could have snaked it as well, but nah. Why? Why bother snaking when you guys just take out the take out the enemy? Where did these coins come from? Interesting. A single guard. We are okay. Goodbye. Ah, oh, that's a nice touch. They actually shatter a bit. Kind of basic, but hey, so it might have just it could have just dissolved altogether. And not let me jump on it. Like this. Oh, by the way, here I guess I might be grinding for coins in the early stages. Also, remember that stupid alarm in the first game? That doesn't exist anymore. Instead, they are straightaway lasers that take one quarter of your health away. Also, the camera can be a bit, bit of a problem. And when you need the camera, it doesn't work. But again, free camera equals some kind of camera problems. That's always the thing. Oh, looks like I have to fight. Yep, I have to fight. I was trying to sneak away so I, I could steal that one, this one guy, but that's a, that's not a thing. Oh, there's another one. So yeah, fighting. If you take it, if you take a hit. You will take water damage, so pretty much any kind of uh, normal attack will do water damage. Water damage to you. So four hits and you're out. Fortunately, if you fall into or get hit from a rock, that just doesn't. That takes a little bit of your health away. But it's a good thing you take damage from rocks as well, because otherwise you could just stay stay like somewhere high where they cannot hit you, and that kind of el eliminates that problem or that really cheap um, thing you can do. That was an obvious um, loading. And we. Jackpot! The heart of Dimitri's operation. Head for those windows and take some reconnaissance photos. Tap the R3 button, you know, click the right analog stick to bring up your binocucom. It's already outfitted with a Am I, I supposed to do something? Ah, oh, there we go. We are probably going to some general um, tutorial. I can't hear it, so yeah. 
their tail feathers as printing plates. Given their rare alloy, they'll never wear out. Unlimited forged money. That generator seems to be powering the security systems down here. That's our target. Dimitri, professional lounge lizard and international forger. That should do it, Sly. Head back to the safe house and we'll cook up a plan of attack. Job completed. 3%. The recon photos are a grim reminder of what the modern thief is up against. Spotlights, stepped up patrols, the sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bugged painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place, we should be able to listen in on his communications. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. So that was only day zero. Pretty much an epilogue for the episode. And now. We gotta go sell loot and buy stuff. We still have all this smoke bomb, nothing useful. Trigger bomb, hell yeah. And a fist of flames, mm, nothing useful either. We gotta sell these. They don't, they aren't worth much since they are bronze, but huh, got something out of it at least. Now oh, that's our next mission. Also now we have these bot like gods. Fear them. Fear them with a passion. They can shoot you from long range and they take like 20 hits to get rid of so. Yeah. So what missions do we have? We got Buck Dimitri's office and follow Dimitri. Uh, follow Dimitri mission, you can actually do it in the demo of this game. And it's kind of short, just follow around Dimitri, so let's go do that right now. To end this episode, let's go and do an easy follow Dimitri mission. Coast is clear for what? Of that I'm uncertain. Ring the bell and follow him without being seen. Then maybe we'll find out what he's hiding. So yep, this is the demo mission. At, uh, when I played the demo, at this point I would just go off and explore, have fights and stuff. And actually never do this. So yeah. Dimitri, nightclub owner. But unfortunately, we are not going to rob the nightclub via payday 2 style, but. Yeah, that's too bad. Then again, this game did come out 9 years before payday 2. So yeah, that's a thing. By the way, buy that game. Even though it's buggy and some people say that it has the worst community ever. Nope. I've never had that problem. Paid it to is an awesome, awesome game. And with random number generator, moving stuff around. Um, the levels are always different. The only thing 
that I don't like, they've changed some of the missions. Because people were grinding them to get levels. Which I'm not a big fan of. Luckily for me, I, I leveled up. I got max level before these changes happened. Hehe. <laughs> but anyway, if you like it, um, I think there's. Does that game have a demo? I'm not sure and I'm not going to look it up because I'm a little bit busy at this point. Man, this guard is gonna be annoying. I need to follow him, but I can't because of this sudden guard. Whoa, he's going to look around. He will look up, so... Not a good idea to be right behind him. But we're pretty much done with this mission right now. Yeah, another job completed. And now there's a um, different kind of icon. Only Murray can complete this job. Which means we have to go back to the safe house and select Murray to do that job. And yeah. All today Captain play completely differently. Like, Sly is this really maneuverable guy who just jumps around the rooftop with no problem, no, no guards to bother him. While Murray is the big one, kind of sloppy and really heavy guy that just moves on the ground and is exposed to more danger. So that's a character breathing and Bentley is just... Turtle. Next time we'll do Dimitri's office. <laughs>